Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and if you're a K-pop stan. Today I'm going to be talking about the Silvering subunit. And as you guys may have known, a few days ago, well for me it was yesterday, but when you're watching this video, it's probably like a few days ago. Yesterday it was confirmed that there's going to be a Silvering subunit, the first subunit of our Velvet, basically. And um, my first reaction to that was, well, am I really like excited about this? Because I was questioning my excitement because I was wanting a group comeback more than like a subunit. And um, I think that's where my disappointment came from. Usually when groups start to have like subunits and stuff like that, the company starts to pay less attention to the actual group itself. And knowing SM, well, you never know what's going to happen with SM because SM treats their artists like dust. I really don't want that to happen to Red Velvet. And I've heard rumors that SM is making a new girl group soon. And I don't want Red Velvet to just be locked in the basement. That's like the last thing I would want for them. And I know it's selfish of me to think that I don't want a Soul Reading subunit because I don't... It's not that. Like, I do want a Soul Reading subunit and I'm excited to see like what they're gonna showcase. At first I was a bit sad, I guess, that it wasn't like a group comeback, but that's the only reason why. I love Sogi and Irene, I'm not one of those freaking solo stands who only stand Joy and not the rest of the group, just an example. I was kind of sad about that. And then I started to text all my Revolove friends and my best friend in general, and they all said, well, then you can always wish for like a Red Velvet summer comeback because I love summer comebacks. They are my favorite concept, summer concept, and uh, yeah, I really want to see that from Red Velvet soon. So my hope is that we'll get a Solarine subunit near May, and then maybe in like July or August, we get a full group summer comeback. So I'm sorry if the thumbnail surprised you guys. I love Red Velvet with all my heart, and I'm going to support them no matter what. So if that was confusing you guys, well, there it is. Intermission is over. And another thing I want to talk about is the other reason I was not so excited about the Selrene subunit was because some Rebel Loves take shipping way too seriously. And as you may know, Selrene is Red Velvet's most popular ship, I guess. And ships are okay if you ship them as friends, like that's totally fine. Or if you just watch like cute compilations of like cute moments or whatever, that's okay. But when you start to make edits, and just say like, oh, this is your girlfriend, Sogi, and like just comment things like that. It's just so cringy. It's so gross. Like imagine if they knew, like that would, I would be so grossed out. That's like shipping siblings together, guys. That's not okay. Unless the couple is actually dating, I don't think that's okay. And apparently some people are just not happy about the Silver Rain subunit because their ship didn't make it in. Like some people ship um, Wenzel and that apparently they weren't happy about that because that wasn't their favorite ship but that's not the case with me I don't have a favorite ship unless it's like friends ship I just hate it when fans do that they over ship people and it's just gross the idols are gonna feel super uncomfortable with that if the fans are acting like that and they're gonna be scared to post anything or go to public because they're just gonna hear those weird things right just if you are doing this and you disagree with whatever I'm saying well I hope you understand that. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just saying how I don't understand you guys. And I'm just saying how it could hurt your idol if you just do it too much. A lot of K-pop YouTubers have talked about shipping and how toxic it is. Um, but I just wanted to briefly touch on that. And I know it's not too much related to the Silurine Sabina. And I'm still very excited to see what they will come out with. The last subunit thing we've seen from them is the Be Natural dance cover. Okay, well that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below what you think about shipping or just the soaring subunit if you just wanted to make it a lighter comment. I want to hear from you guys what you guys think. If you haven't, make sure to subscribe if you're a Revelove, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!